Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. As you may know, we travel a lot and we tend to take many, many photos. So today, I'm going to show you how to use Google Photos and get unlimited storage. Most of us today use our smartphones to take many photos. Selfies, landscape shots, and even the food we eat. But what do we do with these photos and how do we stop losing them? If you have a smartphone, you have access online to Google Photos. If you don't have the app, you can download it from the App Store, but if you use Google Chrome, it comes as a default option. To set up Google Photos for the first time, just open the app and follow the instructions. You need to sign into your Google account and follow the instructions on the screen. Here you have the option to sync up your phones and your computer to automatically upload to Google Photos online. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how that's done. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Google. We need to go over here to this little box of dots. Click on the box of dots and open up the photos icon. I've already signed up to Google, but you can just follow the prompts and join up yourself using your, your Google account. So once we're in the app, we need to go to the Google settings, and you'll find them on the left-hand side here, and it says here, upload size for photos and videos. Now this is where we can have unlimited storage. If we leave them in the original state here, we get 16 gigabytes of storage, and that comes as the original pixels. If we click on the high quality here, then this will change those original sizes down to a maximum of 16 megapixels. This might take a few minutes to go. It's just going to go through and save those photos in a 16 megabyte or less format. Now, you might think this isn't good quality. Well, the iPhone X and the Samsung 9s, their cameras are 12 megapixels. So you're gonna have plenty of storage, plenty of quality in this format. Recover storage, click on recover storage. Compress original items to high quality. So all my other pictures I had there will get compressed down to a maximum of 16. Mine are only about eight or 12 myself. So I'm not gonna lose any quality. So let's compress those. It's now compressing them. As you can see here, it might take a few minutes, but I will then have unlimited storage. And it's as simple as that. It's still taking a little while. So anyway, guys, you won't need to buy that extra storage that Google often recommends. Just go for the unlimited storage at 16 megapixels or less. By backing your photos up to Google Photos, you'll have the confidence in knowing that you will never lose your photos. If you break your phone, if you change phones, you will always be able to recover your photos, download them from the Google Photos app. Depending on the amount of photos that you have already uploaded, depends on the amount of time it'll take to compress. So just be patient and wait till it completes and the job will be done. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, you can push on the subscribe button and click the notification bell for any new videos I upload. So we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.